What's happening everybody? It's your man Mark Bryce and welcome back to another video. The video that we're showing right here, this is an LED kit for your interior of your Jeep Altitude. Now, I, I'm going to have the link below, but I'm going to say this kit may not be what you're looking for. This color is 6K. I'm more into the 5K uh, interior. 5K is just the temperature of the color and I kind of want it like that pure white. This is actually cool white, so it has a little bit of blue in it. I went ahead with this one just because the price. I paid about $18, so I don't know how long this is going to last. But again, this video is just for an opening. I'm going to open it just to see how they look. I'm going to start with putting this on the footwell. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on the map lights. Now, the map lights, it's going to be another separate video because there's something else that I'm gonna do with it. So you guys definitely have to stay tuned. I'm gonna do something to the uh, map light, the whole actual housing of the uh, of the uh, vehicle, that, that map, pretty much that whole huge area where you have your sunglasses, uh, the lens and everything. I'm gonna do something to it, which I've never seen in another Jeep channel. So I guess I'm gonna be the first because I search and no one's doing it, so. I guess I'll be the first to do it. Uh, it's a quite simple job, but I'll, I won't explain it now. I'm just gonna show it in another video. Oh, this is pretty cool how it shows you where, what they go in. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is the glove box. This is the trunk light. Now the trunk light is also gonna be a separate video because again, I'm gonna do something that nobody else is doing. So I'm gonna put that to the side. These are the vanity lights, yep. I'll be doing that today. This is the license plate. Oh, cool. Um, I just want to make sure the license plate light is powerful because this might be, I don't know, might be not, it might not be strong enough. Okay, door light. Cool. This is pretty cool. Now, again, I paid $18 for this. With that being said, with that being said, do you think they're going to last long? I don't know. Oh, cool. It even comes with this. All right, so these are all the stuff that it comes with. Now let's go ahead and get started with the footwell. Now you gotta be very careful because it might be hot. That's all it is. Don't do this, kids. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do is just take out a uh, pliers. Just because you don't want to break it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cloth tape here. Just so the metal of the, uh, of the pliers. Like that. Let me go get a scissor. Alright. Like that. And then again, you can easily just take out the tape. But this tape is thick and it's heat resistant. You can just use re regular rubber uh, electrical tape. But now I feel more secure. All right, perfect. Now I got space. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go, it's hot. So be careful. And then we're gonna go ahead and just pull one of these in. And if it doesn't work the first time, just reverse the polarity. Just take the, uh, the chip, the LED chip, and if it doesn't work one way, just twist it the other way. And do this all in one shot. There you go. Oh man, look how bright that is. It's beautiful. And then let's just put the cap on. Oh, that's nice. So what you have to do is just take out the dome cap, take a plier, put some electrical tape or some uh, 
high heat resistant cloth tape on it just so it can get enough grip and then pull it down. You don't want to use your fingers because it is very hot. Uh, and then that's it. And just put the cap back in once you uh, put the uh, LED uh, bulb in there. And if it doesn't work the first time, that means you have to just take the LED and switch it to the other side. And that's about it. Now we're going to go ahead and take out the cap. Where is it? Because I'm actually working blindly. I can't see any of this stuff. Because the angle that I'm in right now, if only you can see how I am right now. Because this car, the way it's parked, it's parked closer to the wall on the driver's side. So the door, driver's side door can't fully open. So half of my body's out while the other half is in. Why can't this come out? That's weird. There you go. And now, I'm going to try to take it out. Where are you? Right there. You don't want to crack anything. All right. There. There we go. That's the old light bulb. Okay. Here's the cap. Here's the old light bulb. Now let's go ahead and put in the new one. There we go. And that's it. Okay. Nope. And there you go. It is fully in there. <laughs> that looks nice. Now we just gotta go ahead and do these. I'm gonna do the mirror. The vanity, the vanity lights. That's gonna be for another video because I got something juicy coming up for that. So that's a separate video which will be coming out probably at the end of the week, if not over the weekend, but definitely by next week. So let's get ahead, let's go ahead and get started with these. To do the vanity lights, you're gonna need a pry tool. And we're gonna go ahead, figure, go with one side and work your way. All you need is your wedge tool, pry tool, and work with it away. Where you have space for me will be right there i can't do it with with one hand because i need to put my hand and hold this while the pry tool goes in right there i can feel it oh there it is it's coming out oh i went back in so it's quite simple to do i'm gonna try to do it with one hand it keeps coming out but then it goes back in see you can hear it all right, so I'm gonna need both hands. Give me one second. Well, there you go. All you have to do is, I went on this side right here, right there. And I just used the pry tool to pry it out. It's quite simple. So on this side, I'm gonna do it right, right there. So now let me go ahead and take them out. And now to take those out, these light bulbs, use your pry tool. And if you don't have a pry tool, just take a uh, a flathead. And if you can, take electrical tape and wrap that around the um, the tool so it doesn't scratch your uh, pieces. There we go. I just use this part right here. And then place it here and put the new one in. Now, when you're using these and you're installing them, make sure they're faced this way. Don't have them turned around because you're not going to get enough light source. Just have it like this. I can't do it with two, with one hand. I need to hold the vanity mirror because or else... Okay, I was able to do it with one hand. Look at that. Look at the difference. That's nice. 
All right, so let me go ahead and put the cover back on. Look, difference on that. Wow. Wow. All right, so I'm not gonna go and show every single one of them. I'm just gonna do them all by hand, um, off camera, because it'll be a lot easier. But at least now you know. Just go ahead. I worked on this side right here. So take your pry tool or flat head, and make sure your flat head is rubber. It, you put some type of rubber on it, like electrical tape, so you don't scratch the lens. And then just work your way in. All right, there we go. All right, so on this one, it wasn't working. The reason why is because I had it upside down. So if it doesn't work, just flip it over and put it back in. It'll work that way.